CCNA Security ASA Firewalls Dual ISPs Part 2. We have our lab ready. Now it's time to implement that feature. Let's create another default route. This time we go for outside. Any. Our default gateway, we're talking about this path now, is 2221. We'll leave these options, we'll tweak them. Oh, well, that's what we have to change now. I like to put 250 as our metric, that is our backup root. The primary one is the distance, the metric is 1. Here, anything higher than that will do. I just like to put 250. A lot of people put that number. This route is not going to be used because of the metric, right? When I type show route, you will see the same route. Now, before I go and set up IPSLA and objects to make it work, I like to test it. Unfortunately, on an, on ASA firewalls, we don't have PBR, we don't have the policy-based routing. We don't have that. The, the easiest way, of course, I could, I could create a static route and point it that way, whatever. Uh, still, I like to test it. Of course, I could go and unplug a cable. I'm too lazy to do that. I want to make sure that I can ping, where is, I want to ping, right, using both routes before I, I create a backup route and test it. The easiest way to do that is, of course, go and shut down the primary path. Let's do shut. Okay, show root. Did I shut down the... Just, what did I... Did I shut down E01? Yeah, let's check the interfaces. Ah, I shut down the wrong interface. Sorry. That should be interface E0, 0, right? So why? I expected to see request timed out, right? We want to shut down our primary link. Show root, that's what I wanted to see. That is our backup root. Let's, let's say it again to make sure we're on the same page. What I did, I shut down this interface, right? To be more specific, this one. It means that your ASA does not have a choice, even though the metric is 250, your ASA will, uh, your ASA says, well, whatever, I need that, I need a default root, I will start using it now, right? When I do no shot, this backup path will disappear because of its metric. When I do no shot, show root, you will see 111 again, right? Our primary path, it was 222. That shows me one thing, I can reach both ISPs, right? And a network behind both ISPs. I am ready to implement uh, IPSLA. That is a CCNP topic. Still, we will keep it simple. I will keep pinging. What we do, 
we go to static roots and we go we, we go for our primary path we ask our ASA can you track it and can you ping 8888 using outside interface when you click monitoring options the one that I want to change now is a frequency every 10 seconds of course, you can tweak all these values if you want. Right? When I apply, it's very similar to a router. If you're studying for CCNP root, I'm pretty sure you, you recognize these commands. They're very similar. Nothing should change, really, when I go to the ASA, because I can see the same root. Uh, to verify you type show they change that as well I think it's show SLA not show IP SLA yeah monitor op right that's the command show SLA monitor op here we can see the number of operations it is well it should be okay why is it false? Oh yes, sorry, I just was looking. Yeah, return code is okay. Right, good. I was pretty sure this, we're pinging the correct guy. Show root. Yeah. Now, what, what this option is going to do, if your ASA fails to ping 8888, it will consider that root down that the, that root is down it is not going to use it anymore it is going to remove that from the routing table and our backup root is waiting i by the way it, it's going to change asdm i don't know why you can always go back to one if you if you prefer don't know why why asdm does it it doesn't it doesn't change anything the backup is 1,250. Uh, okay, how can we test it? Well, what I want to do to test it, again, this is our primary path, right? This is our backup path. This one is not in use. This one is in use. What I want to do, and ASA is pinging that IP address at the moment. How can we test it? Yes, you guessed it. I am going to shut down the loopback interface behind ISP1. It will tell my ASA, oh, ISP1 is down, I should stop using that path. We'll kill it. I hope it will start using ISP2. Let me... Where is my... Let's open CMD. I enabled Telnet on both routers. I can Telnet to ISP1. I want to see the second screen. Here we go. Okay. I want to make sure it times out, right? Okay. Show IP interface brief, you will see loopback zero. Let's go under loopback zero and type shut. When I type show, let's use the up arrow. You should see, let's just type show root, it's still 111, it is every 10 seconds, time out, right? Please note, request timed out. Now when I type show root, what do you expect to see? Good, 2, 2, 2, 1. 
Please note outside backup interface. Right? When I do no shot, type show root, wait a few seconds. Of course, you can tweak options and make it faster. It is 111 again. A lot of people call it a failover test. You want to test it. You want to make sure that your backup link uh, kicks in, right? You want to make sure it kicks in every time your primary link goes down. In this video, we talked about a really interesting feature, dual ISPs. I showed you how you can enable a feature like that on an ASA firewall and we even performed a failover test. Thank you very much.